Hi everyone, I'm going to make ChatGPT create a data set for me and then put it into a graph automatically. And we're going to do this in JavaScript and you don't need to be a coder or know anything about JavaScript as long as you just follow what I do. It's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in my request here and that is to have it create a data set of the wins and losses for the New York Yankees in the last 10 years and I'm just telling it that I want it to be in JavaScript using the Plotly library and this is going to be a bar graph. Okay, once it's done, you can go ahead and copy the code. Let's go to the top and do that. You don't need to read what it was telling us below, because I'll just show you how. I copy the code. I have a blank text file here called base. I'm going to right click, paste, and I'm going to save this as an HTML file. So we can just call it graph1, and we want to save it as type all files, and then put a dot HTML here. And you can see it right here. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Well, there we go. It did create this. This is uh, pretty neat. This time, what we're going to do is have it create a data set of the population of London, England in the last 10 years. And it's going to create a time series line graph. So let's give it a try. Okay, again, it looks like it finished the code, and I don't want to worry about what we have at the below part here, so I'm just going to go up, and I'm going to copy the code. Now I want to go to my base file here. I want to paste in the code. Looks like everything's here. I'm going to save as all files, call this graph2.html. Let's save it and then let's open it up and see if it worked. So there you go, it's showing each year and somewhere it should say millions. So here we go, right here. Yep, it shows the millions. So it looks like it covered everything that we expected it to. That's pretty neat. It worked pretty well. So these were just two examples. There's so many more ways that you can get data and create a graph based on a generated data set. But anyway, give it a try. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.